presenting to James Passanate tonight is Lillian Hayward. Lillian arrived in Beaufort County in 1982. Lillian arrived in Beaufort North Sea Trawler Friedheim. <laughs> She's been here ever since. Lillian is a scenic artist with an impressive body of work in the film industry. Since 1991, you've seen her work in such films as Prince of Tides, Hudsucker Proxy, Forrest Gump, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, and many, many more. She has an undergraduate degree in graphic design and a master's degree in illustration from Syracuse University. Ladies and gentlemen, Lillian Hayward. Don't think so. <laughs> James Passanate began working in film in his teens. To say James cut his teeth in the film industry would, in his case, literally be true. His father was head of the plaster shop at Universal Studios in Hollywood. Jim lied about his age and started working at the studio at 17. Both his brothers work in film as well. His older brother Jeff is construction coordinator, and his younger brother John is charge scenic. His son Giovanni put himself through med school working at the studios and is now a radiologist. Jim would say he's the smartest of the bunch for getting out. In truth, he comes from a family where not only are they smart, but incredibly talented as well. I met Jim on my first film over 20 years ago. He had already been working in film for 20 years. It was a Coen Brothers movie, Hudsucker Proxy. It starred Paul Newman, and Tim Robbins, and was being shot in Wilmington, North Carolina. He was my crew boss, and I was green. I was very green. He taught me to paint, glaze, block age, distress, and faux finish. He recognized my graphic and sign ability, and I learned to hand paint, dry brush, and pounce. I started a new career. But to understand what kind of boss he is, picture us. His crew, four months into a five-month shoot, working 70 to 80 hours in a six-day week, starting a new day at 6 a.m., cold and exhausted in some godforsaken location. And out of the darkness, we hear his booming voice. When the sun hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Followed by his deep belly laugh. And then you knew it was going to be okay. You were on Jim's crew, and you were going to be fine. You'd get it all done, and it would be great. And not just because it was your job. It was because you wanted to make him proud. There are rare few who show the kind of leadership, the kind that inspires, we would walk through fire for you, loyalty. But Jim Passanante is one of those. And we would. <laughs> Maybe not break our arms. <laughs> this award is for behind the scenes. From a handful of people to a veritable army, Jim has led construction and paint crews on hundreds of sets, on 70 productions, turning Varnville, South Carolina into Greenbow, Alabama, Wausau Island into an army camp in Vietnam on Forrest Gump, a warehouse on Depot Road into a treasure cave on Jungle Book, the giant building where they used to build Trident submarines in Charleston into the Wall Street subway station of New York, complete with fake steel girders, fully tiled tunnels, foam mosaic detail, and signs. And then made the whole thing look as if it had blown up. He turned a set built in a former car dealership in Savannah into the courtroom for the trial of Mary Surratt, accused of conspiring to kill Lincoln and the Robert Redford film, The Conspirator. And these are just a, the tiniest fraction of the work he has done over his 40-year career. It may be called behind the scenes, but it is, in fact, the magic that happens in front of the camera when these beautiful and amazing sets transport us and make us believe we are really there. And Jim is the master magician that pulls it all together and makes it happen. It is my honor and my privilege to present this award to Jim Passanante from all of us, his audience, the crew, all those production companies, the Buford Film Festival. You have enriched our lives. Thank you. 
In fact, I found out what this is good for, to hold my notes in. Um, thank you. Um, you know, a funny thing about creating scenery for a movie set, the better you are at your job, uh, the more invisible you are. A lot of people don't know what we do. Um, if you can take and build a... a, a a tenement, a burnt out tenement building, a Civil War prison, um, a 16th century palazzo um, that looks so right that the viewing audience just assumes that the locations department uh, found the right site. But 99% of the time, uh, it's just us adding things to it and you really don't know that we've done that. Um, uh, we've accomplished our mission, if, if that's the case. Like an actor, the look of the film is a major character um, in a movie. Uh, but one of, the, one of the, sorry, I'm a little nervous here. But one uh, that should uh, take a back seat to the dialogue the actors, um, and, and the action, and must be appropriate so not to distract from them. Um, this is what we do. This is what we, as, as, uh, uh, as crews, do. Um, we make things not stand out. Uh, when I say that, I mean the most extensive crew that you can think of. Uh, there's, there's production designers who design the, the look of the film from all the way down to the costumes, to the signs, to the buildings behind you, the artwork, the, the furniture, everything. Um, the art directors who help them, uh, the draftsmen who design the sets that we build for them, um, the, the graphic artists, who Lillian is one of the best, the prop makers who build all the, the, the sets, the scenic artists who paint all the sets to, to look like whatever. I mean, we can take a, a, a piece of plywood and make it look like marble. Um, sign writers, plasters, set decorators, greensmen, um, accountants who track every last penny from the, the, seriously, from um, all the labor to all the materials that we spend, all the, the luggage we buy, the, the furniture we buy, everything. Everything's got to be tracked. Um, and uh, I just want to say thank you, Ron and Rebecca. Um, this is something that um, myself, I'm proud of, and all the people that work with me, uh, work with me over the years, hundreds of people that have made the, the, uh, the production designer's um, vision, who gets the, the, the vision from the director, become reality. And uh, we make the movie magic. Thank you.